So every year I go to my uncle's farm for Christmas in July. And every year I cross the same bit of road. We've done it about a thousand times. I've crossed this road before with water on it, but I'm thinking it, it is worse than usual. My girlfriend and my sister both said, it looks too dangerous, it looks too deep. We'll just go the long way around. I don't know, Tom. It looks dangerous. Yeah, just go the long way, Tom. But I've done reckless things before like that, you know, sort of to prove a point or because someone said you can't do it, so I thought I'd prove them wrong. The long way around takes about 45 minutes extra. So I had this urge to do it, just to be a man about the situation, take charge of the situation and do what my instinct was telling me to do, which was cross the river, even though it's flooded. So I didn't say anything, I just drove straight into the water. I accelerated through the water, and for the first few metres it was fine, I thought we are going to get through, but then we got to the middle of the causeway and the car just stopped completely. And then there's a few seconds where we're not saying anything and we're all just silently panicking because we're waiting for the car to flip or waiting for us to get washed down the river, something like that to happen. But it doesn't, luckily, so I go for the engine, try to start it back up again, but I'm just clicking over, nothing's happening. So at that point, my sister decides she's going to get out of the window. Next to me is my girlfriend, and she's really starting to panic. Now, I think we should get out of the car as well, and I tell her that, but she's too scared to move. She's in shock at the moment. Tom! There's water coming through the car! Okay, Tash, we need to get out of the car. Water starts seeping through the floor, and it starts to get ankle deep. So I'm telling her, we really need to get out of the car now. Take the belt off, take the belt off. The car was completely destroyed, a total write-off, and insurance didn't cover driving through floodwaters. Plus, I need a car for work. I had to buy a new car, which cost a lot of money as well. I'm over it! So, a few weeks later, me and my girlfriend broke up. You know, obviously saw that I wasn't a great decision maker, I guess. I could have lost my life, and I could have been responsible for the death of my sister and my girlfriend. I was told by the mechanic that someone had died in the exact same spot, in the same situation, so yes, very freaky. I absolutely would not drive through floodwaters again. Yeah.